A 37-year-old woman walking through the subway station around a quarter to nine Saturday night was hit in the face, attacked police say by a man who made derogatory racial remarks. The NYPD is now looking for this suspect. According to the NYPD's Hate Crime Task Force, there have been 28 anti-Asian incidents in the city this year, including 12 assaults. In the same time period last year, there were eight. There was a noticeable police presence in the subway Sunday evening. Ryder Farris says the hate needs to stop. We're going through enough as it is. Can we just be more kinder to each other? Hate crimes against Asian Americans are on the rise in New York and around the country. Critics say the former president's language stoked violence against Asian Americans and immigrants. Congressional representatives from our area consoled families who lost loved ones in the recent spa attacks in Georgia. Grace Meng of New York and Andy Kim of New Jersey, both Democrats, visited with colleagues from the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus. Meng is the first vice chair of the caucus. She laid flowers at all three different shooting sites, all massage parlors in the Atlanta area. Both Meng and Kim met with family members of the victims and with local Asian American leaders. I wanted to come here and pay my respects to those lives lost, pay respects to the community that is still grieving, and just try to have a sense of how we show solidarity from around the country. Of the eight people murdered in Georgia, six were of Asian descent. Police here in New York are asking anyone with information about this guy to contact Crime Stoppers.